Hey folks, I'm HP and this is Dr. Pink and today I'm going to talk about a chord solo in a jazz blues. Uh, we all know the situation, we want to play a really cool solo, but for once we want to keep it really smooth and cool and just play a chord solo, like in the style of Joe Pass or anybody of those really cool players. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and then you get informed when any new videos are coming or live streams are taking place. So this is, I wrote something for you here. <laughs> Oops, here. And that one I'm gonna play. It's really cool and very easy to play. I suggest you play with finger picking, sounds more smooth. But anyhow, this is how it sounds. I hope you still know it. stuff like that. We gonna I'm gonna show how this thing is played, but we also analyze it that you can create your own version just by understanding what's going on. So this is really worth checking out if you're into jazz guitar or you want to sound smooth as Miles Davis, the birth of the cool. You know that CD, birth of the cool. <laughs> yeah. So let's check this out. All right, folks. This is a blues in F. So it's a 12-bar blues, and since we are in a jazz blues, we have little more changements and then in a normal blues <coughs> there are several types of form but this one is like a convenient form and most jazz blues are in f or in b flat whatever reason for because the sax plays for then b flat is c and f is uh, f well not f uh, g i think yeah or be g for them good so we have a 12 bar blues four bars f two bars B flat um, the, the the form is this, this is written in the description box below check it out there um, to really you really need to know this form by heart so four bars F two four two bars B flat one bar F then one bar D one bar G minor one bar C7 and then a turnaround at the ending so F7 to D7 in one bar and G minor 7 to C7 in a second bar. So let's get started now. Um, here we have F. Uh, we start with a simple F7 chord and this is just one, this one here. 7th fret, 8th fret here, these two. These are so-called guide tones. What are guide tones? This one, if you take an F9 chord here, or an F7, like normal F7, this one doesn't sound so jazzy. We want to have it more jazzy, so we we'll redu reduce the chord by taking away the root note. There's another root note that leaves us just to these little notes. And these two notes are enough to define the F7 chord. This one is the A, the triad, and the uh, what's that? The uh, bl 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 E flat. So this is a F7. Now we play one, two, and three, four. We play syncopes with these chords, and they sound more crusty or crispy, not crusty, <laughs> crispy. <coughs> when we somehow attack them, Ke keep them short. So one, two, and three, four, and. We, ma we make a syncope of two bars, so one, two, and three, four, one, and two, three, four. And the second bar we play the same notes, but then we play in one and and on three, so one, two, and three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. And what you don't see, foot is on two, four, one, one two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, and two, three, four, one. You can hear the tune four because I'm 
making this. If you can uh, tapping the two Fourier on the strings, if you can do that yourself, it's of course cooler, and you have more groove. So one, two, and three, four. One and two and three, four. Two and three. So that's the first figure for over two bars. Then comes a little lettering figure. One and two. One, two, and three, four. So we play a s F9 here. Still the these two notes. Now we add this um, G here. Just make a little bar here. So one, one, two, and th just lettering one, two, and three, four. Really simple. And then on the f in the fourth bar we play F13. So this stays here, this solstice gets a bar, pinky goes in on the 10th, and we take the pinky away. Now we attack four strings. So the first four bars are like one, two, and three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, and two, four, one, two, and three, four. So the syncope in the fourth bar is the same as the beginning, just really simple. And this way we build up tension to proceed to the two bars of B flat. There we go now. Now we play this chord here. Probably new for you. You make a bar in the sixth fret, middle finger goes on the G string in the seventh fret, and the ring finger in the eighth fret on the B string. And you attack the high four strings. This gives us a like the, the chord alone sounds a little bit dissonant, but because the bass is missing, I play it for you now. We don't need it because the the bass is already playing it. And just and in this case, we just play one, two, three, four. And we have four four beats time, and we make a little vibrato. You press against the guitar here. See. and you make this vibrator effect. If you don't do it, it sounds more flat. No vibrator, with vibrator. Sounds really nice. And now we make a figure, we go on the B13, this will be here. Six, seven, eight. Slide down on the fifth. So one, two, and three, four. So one, two, three, four, one, two and three four you can either attack them twice or slide up so what did we did we learn now in the first six bars we can reduce chords to the to a so-called guy tone lines guy tone lines or just the triad and the seventh this one will be for F7. If you make it on B flat, we just move down half step and then we have the, the same thing here for B flat. If you want to do it in C, we just move up one fret. This will be F and this will be flat and C, C really matches. So let's play the first six bars now. It's really cool. What is really essential that you make the foot and two for one, two. Th this will be the one, two, three, four. Your foot has to be on two and four because this way you swing way more than you would without that. Good. Now let, let's proceed. Now in um, bar number seven, we have this figure. We go down from F9. D7, but in this case it's D7 altered, and we choose the D7 sharp 9 chord. In this case, we just play the upper part here, 4th, 5th, 6th fret. So, so we have F9, 1, 2, th 3, 4, just move down, half step, 1, 2, 3, 4 to D7 sharp 9, 1, 2, just let it ring. 
and then comes G minus 7 that will be this one here but we only play the upper part again so here just in the third fret this is the upper part of G minus 7 and again this figure 1 2 and 3 four, as we had before 1 with the slide up 1 2 and 3 4 and then C9 we did make the same figure again as on F9 here we have C9, we only play the upper part. F9 was up here, here we have C9. Yep. And then comes the turnaround. And here we make the syncopes of 1 and 2 and this is the most used syncope, 1 and 2 and so it's good that you know it's so 1, 2 and 3, 4, 1, 2 and 3, 4. So we just place F9 to D7 sharp 9 to G minus 7 to C9. So 1, 2, and 3, 4. 1, 2, and 3, 4. That will be the turnaround. So let's play the whole thing now. Play it twice. Now comes a little bit articulation trick if you want to make it sound more, cr as I say, crispy, crunchy, you just make it short. And that's why I recommend finger picking because with finger picking you can make the notes short. See? Damp you. Make it as short as possible. You make syncopes are always the same. One is short, one is long. The short one, like, back. And then the long you can try to add vibrato. One, two, and see? I make short and then give this vibrato. It sounds different than I just play. Sounds very different. This is really essential. Also with the slides. One, two, first short then slide in and end up with vibrato. The more action you have here additional, the more smooth and more so sophisticated it sounds and when you play only a little notes, jazz is not about playing uh, many notes, about playing sophisticated and the more you can control what you're doing, it's not hard to play these chords. But with these little arti articulation things, you make it sound really cool and smooth. Let's check it out. Oops, I missed the entry, can also happen to me. really cool I soon have to sneeze yeah there's no more to say about this so let's go to the final notes about expression and time okay folks as I said the thing is really simple to play from the technical side but timing and expression and groove and swing that's that's the hard part so try to learn you to use your foot and turn two four so one two three four one two you don't see my foot? One, two, three, four, one, two, now play. Once you, you can split up the different parts into later parts and just try to work on it with foot and two and four because the foot and two and four has the automatic 
uh, effect that you start to groove and you start to swing and you have to make it short, long, exactly the way it has to be. Otherwise, you sound like like a marsh band, like blah, blah, that uh, instead of chicken, you know what I mean? And that is really essential to make it really sound cool, smooth and controlled. Yeah, that's more or less what I wanted to say. If you want to download the tabs and the backing track to practice this th stuff here, you find it in the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. Join there, it's a cool place to go, also for the jazzers. And um, no, I don't know what more to say. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Spotify, follow me on Facebook. That's these three social medias which I also do. Yeah, also Twitter, but yeah, you know what I mean. Good. One more to say, Dr. Pink. Mm -hmm.